you Dodge guys are real mean and you're you're really hurting my feelings on this satellite. So I don't know. Maybe it's time we uh, switch gears and take this thing in another direction. If she'll fucking start again if she does dodge aren't as shitty as uh no they're definitely fucking shit oh yeah die you fucking whore anywho the plan for this is we got to start uh getting the kind of body work actually done let's turn this heater off so i picked up a bunch of stuff so i went down to my good buddy's rondex i actually took down this panel right here, and, and this is actually a test spray right there. It's a little shinier, and that's the factory color. So I dropped off the panel, they took the factory color, they tweaked it a little bit, so I got uh, a couple liters of that. I got some uh, fiberglass. So the plan is I'm gonna fiberglass just a little bit first, get that down, just kind of protect the weld. We'll go down and around. And then we'll obviously come over with some body filler. Um, before we do that, this side needs this little section here fixed. I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight. We're gonna get this fitting proper in there. Uh, I can put the fiberglass on to start, let that harden up, go down and around. There is one little hole on this side I gotta deal with and a little bit of body work on the other side on the sill I'm talking, sorry. So I have to weld a little, little patch there, but really nothing too serious. Just right where the drain hole was, must have had some junk in it and corroded. So I guess what we're gonna do, but I'm just gonna set up the time lapse We'll give this a quick schmoo of uh, fiberglass, seal it, I'll hit it with the grinder, just kind of flatten it out. Then we'll start uh, putting on the filler, because that's all fine. Uh, While well, it's up there, I might get in and just finish off the trunk dropouts, and a few little plug welds like that. And this is the only real section I gotta worry about, then I can fiberglass that and fill it full of filler. And it's on the other side, but she's getting there, I'm stoked. Uh, so jumping ahead just a little bit, uh, I sanded this side down. So again, you just kind of put a, I just put a little coat on. I just want to cover the weld is all I really want to do. Seal the weld. Uh, this one I got to get in here and rough this all up. I'll just remove it full of filler. Uh, yeah, got the down, uh, side down by the door and into the sill a little bit. I'm just working on that patch panel underneath a little bit uh, in between doing some body work. I'm really filming it because it's boring. Um, managed to get that back piece to fit okay it wasn't great the piece itself is bent so i put it in and then i'll put some new studs in it and i think it'll just suck itself tight that one needs a bunch of repair uh, on this side all i've done is just schmuck and i haven't uh, sanded it yet i'm gonna focus on the other side a little bit because uh, it's kind of boring and i want to do it kind of by hand so i think that's probably the way to do it as much as possible so we'll get uh, get going on that sail panel and then I can schmuck that with filter, uh, filler and then the whole panel. And I'm just going to fill, you know, here to here type thing. Make sure I keep this nice sharp body line and this nice little curve to it. So maybe I'll like just put it uh, down to there. 
front back sill and then yeah i'm not gonna worry about the panel at all i'm just gonna kind of scuff it up when i'm ready to paint it with some like a scotch braid or something like that so it has something to bite to yeah we're uh we're giving her I've been giving her a little bit uh so i took a little advice from my my buddy uh, bad chad and you just you flood it with filler uh actually i don't know bad chad at all he seems like a pretty good guy he's canadian right so he's got to be good go tell him what's up in the comments for me but uh to put the first coat on i was kind of going over it actually come out pretty straight for the first coat i mean down here is obviously gonna be perfectly straight and i mean i just use my longboard I have this little one here and this one here. A little teardrop job to get in there, so it's no big deal. I'll get in here with the flat board and then obviously just down the side and the back is no big deal. Um, the other side, I did uh, a sander down. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this side for now. That side I'm going to finish sanding. I, don't li I like to uh, put the filler on and then get right to it. Well, it's still kind of a little bit soft before it gets just rock hard. I find it's easier to sand off. So I'll struggle a little bit more from this tonight. And then uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow to keep giving her. All right, well, the next day, I've actually been doing a little bit of work already. So uh, I put one more coat of filler on, sand it off. And this is now the third, which I'm just trying to put in a few spots that have some kind of low spots. Uh, I got the rocker all dialed together and uh it's got its coat of filler on it uh the door jam and all that's pretty good so i think what i'm gonna do is probably sand this off smooth it up one more time i'm gonna take the door handle and the lock out and the mirror off on this one door because so i'm just going to get this section i'm just gonna real quick with the, the random orbital smooth with some filler make it look kind of nice i'm just gonna scuff the rest of the door because i want to leave all these little kind of pits and stuff like that because i want it to look all beat up that's how the car was Oh, gentle. And the quarters, I mean, whatever. Make this as flat as I can. This was the pain side, because it had this transition, which I managed to get pretty good. So we're working on that. The other side I've done a whole lot of nothing with, unfortunately. I set the fiberglass and I sanded it off, and that was it. But this side is uh, is just this, and down, and then a little bit on the rock, or the door is fine. And there's nothing on the sill to worry about, or on the sail panel, sorry. So this side should go a fair bit quicker. I'm hoping to have that side done tonight, maybe. I have just jinxed myself. Body work is slow, time-consuming, and boring. But that's what we're doing. Well, I'm a complete idiot. Had the camera set up, and I forgot to hit record on all the time lapse I did. Which was like about an hour and a half of work. But, uh... <sighs> Anyways, I obviously did the work. So I got this quarter. Well, I'm going to call it as smooth and flat as I'm going to make it. Got up in here, not too bad. All around there, we're good. I pulled all the stuff off the door. You know, the one thing Dodge did, which I like, is they had the door handle bolts on instead of the stupid clip, which is always a pain. So that was kind of cool. The door panel was a bit of a nightmare to come off, and it so brittle. It didn't do that great. Uh, so anyways, I pulled that off, I literally just schmucked it, like ground it down first, schmucked it, and then uh, flattened it out with the big uh, random orbital. So, I think we're in uh, 300 grit, is what I kind of finished off. I did uh, roughed it 40, then 80, then 180, then 300. Now, this is where the thoughts come in. So I don't think I'm going to fix up the whole door or whatever, but at the end of the day... We're going to try and recreate this kind of look. 
So I think what the car was, is it looks like it was red oxide, then it was gray primer, then it was green. Uh, that's how it fades, fades through. And you kind of see it. So we're gonna try and recreate some of that look. So the full quarters can be painted and we're gonna go probably up until this line right there into the trunk, dust it into the sail panel all up in here. We'll do the whole door because uh, why not? I'm just gonna scuff the door. And you know, again, leave it like this. I, I like that. If you're new here, I like ratty junk. Um, yeah, so I think, I don't know where I'm going. I, I put another coat on this side. We'll deal with that tomorrow. This side will be easy. I should be able to knock this side out tomorrow because that side is basically done, I'm hoping. So what I'm gonna do, I got just some uh, spray bomb high build primer. So I'm gonna lay that on the, uh, what I got going on there, the bodywork, so we'll soak it all up. We'll put a couple coats on. Tomorrow I can then scuff it up, scuff the whole panel and all that just real lightly with some, I don't know, thousand grit or whatever I got in the in the toolbox, just so the paint can bite something. Uh, we'll put another kind of, we'll put some red oxide on all the edges and stuff like that. The car's gonna look funny, because it's gonna be just that. Then we'll reprime parts of it, and then might put a little black in it, who knows. And then it'll be ready for the green to go over. Then once the green hardens up, we can sand down and get kind of these funky colors, like how it was. And again, I'm gonna leave some of these little battle scars and all that, so when I scuff into it, it'll kind of show up first. And I might use a little bit of thinner and... Well, who knows? I'm sure you guys are hating that. Paint it nice, paint it nice. Nah. It's a junky old Dodge, so it's gonna stay. So, uh, we'll just do one more time lapse of me kind of laying down the primer, and then I'll, uh, See you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I remember to turn the camera on this time. Alright, so next day, I have to charge the camera today. Genius. And I bought a long extension cord for it. So where we left it yesterday, I had fogged the bodywork with some high build primer, and we're doing pretty good. So, uh, I'm gonna hit this just a couple of more times. I'm gonna sand it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the top because it's all kind of rough and stuff like that, but... I mean, again, flat primer hides a lot, but it does look not too bad. And when it was wet, it came out pretty decent, so I'm happy. Happy enough with it. Same with the door. Door came out pretty decent. Uh, the only, you know, Dodge, man, you can't, like on a Chevy, you just kind of put your finger in there and open it up. These Dodges have little rods and cones and springs. And Anyways, so you got the door open. So I got that all dialed together. I'm going to hit that with probably some five or 600 grit. I'll scuff up the, the whole panel and I'll just give it a quick fog of primer. And I'm going to let the garage heat up a little bit because it's still kind of chilly here. So I'll do that. I'll let the paint dry. And then that's going to be ready for ready for paint ready for paint and uh i gotta do a lot of cleaning up in the trunk but uh before i gotta do that we gotta finish this side but i should be able to knock out all the body work tonight and have it in primer and then do my little layer up of primers i want to do and get that all kind of dialed together and then we'll uh we'll paint on the next video sounds like a plan and the next video i might paint it and then hate it and take a sledgehammer to it because it turned out like absolute garbage but I bought real paint, spent like 300 bucks on paint, supplies, proper sandpaper, all those good things. Like name brand stuff. Cheap name brand, but still, name brand. So, uh, I think, yeah, we'll set the laps up. I'll just kind of scuff this real quick. We'll paint it. We'll uh, let it dry while I have a little, a little relax inside. I've just got home from work. I'll tackle the other side. Sounds good.
All right, so it's about an hour later. Um, I did, I put on the, the red oxide and I shut the camera off. I let that kind of dry and then I give it one more coat of the, uh, of the high build. So the goal being again that we're going to try and get that color to come through. So now I'm just going to let this set up. This is done. And I'll just kind of roughly scuff this up before I'm going to paint. I got to say guys, I'm uh No, I almost feel bad. I'm just I'm going to just patina and make it look like shit cuz it actually came out pretty nice. But uh yeah, I mean the it's not too wavy. Again, it's hard to tell in the primer, but I don't know. It's pretty good. I'm stoked on it. So that side so I'm gonna call it done. There might need a couple. I'm just gonna double check, make sure the plug welds and all that, and the wheel well and everything. But uh, that's no big deal. Get around and clean the trunk out, and now we gotta get sand on this. So I think I'm gonna bang this off real quick. Give it a, a quick scuff with some uh, probably 40 or, or 60 grit or something. Like that. Knock it all off real quick. Put another coat on it. This side right here in this section, there was that whammo which I did fix, and then actually here the the panel was kind of bent in, so I tried pulling it out, but it's gonna need just a little bit to kind of make it look a little nicer. But from probably about here forward, I think this coat maybe a few little spots after will fix it, and then the door gap it fit real nice on the other side, and then right there, and then I had just a little uh, cut. It was actually a couple pinholes, so I just put one patch in and I smoothed it. But again, that's so hidden, who really cares? So this should be able to be knocked out tonight. We'll get it all primed, and uh, it's painting time. I'm stoked. This thing's coming around. Well, a bunch of sanding later, um, so we're pretty close. I got the thing in 320, uh, so I fogged it with some primer. Uh, I noticed a few spots where it's, uh, well, it's wet still, I gotta kind of deal with, but it's supper time. It's actually like eight o'clock, it's late supper time, but uh, we'll let this harden up a little bit. We'll kind of fill in a few little spots, touch up a few areas. I got some, you know, stuff I gotta deal with, and then, should we be able to schmuck it, sand it, and then do the primer like we did on the other side? So we'll have it all sitting in gray, a little bit of red here and there, and that's it. Body work is uh, done. And this thing is like rust free now. Unfortunately, I mean, you know, I think I showed this before, like the fender in the front of the wall. It's just so hammered up. Like, you know, this thing, it's just, it needs a little bit of love. And where does it end? You're painting inside, doing all these things, that's why. I like the ratty muscle car look, it's just easy. <laughs> a little bit cheaper too. And uh, ultimately the bodywork doesn't have to be perfect. I'm a little nervous because the Rondex did tint the paint, I brought it all in. This is a avocado green metallic or something like that. So unfortunately the metallic's really gonna pop, so hopefully I can scuff it up and make it look kind of decent and, uh, and go from there. But I'll try to leave it while it's hardened up and I'll see you guys probably about an hour and we'll uh, make a little bit more progress and fog the whole panel. But this thing's coming together. See you in a bit. Alright, well obviously I fast forward a little bit and I ended up priming the whole panel. Uh, I came out 
and it looked pretty good. I hit just a few spots, uh, but I didn't need to put any more filler on. It's got a few little divots here and there, but I mean, we're going to make this thing look uh, kind of rough around the edges anyway. So, uh, this uh, this primer's now dry. We're going to hit it. I just, I scuffed it with 300 grit. So, it still needs a little bit more to go, but we're going to load it up with some more primer and stuff like that. And if it still needs a little area, we'll uh, we'll take care of that. But uh, I'll set you up in the laps because we'll do the red oxide, which actually takes a little bit to dry. And then uh, we'll reprime it one more time. Call her a day. Well, paint's dry, quarter's all one color. I'm pretty impressed, I gotta say. The bodywork, uh, well, it's pretty good for me. Definitely less hacky. But, I mean, full quarters, trunk drop downs, full floor. I mean, this thing's really coming together. Uh, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. I gotta, I gotta jam it just a little bit. And up here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably kind of tape it up a little bit, fold the tape over, do a few little tricks like that. Uh, paint hard up to here and just kind of dust it up there and then I'll just kind of scuff it or do whatever I want. I did just buy single stage paint on purpose. That way it's way easier to kind of get through. If you got a, a base clear, it's a lot more work. But this one really, we're just going from here down then we'll, we'll figure out here. I could even just kind of clean this with thinner before I go and maybe even mask the edge. I don't know. We'll think about that one tomorrow. This side, we're going into the trunk. Uh... We got a little hard body line right there, which I could probably mask off and be fine. We got dust into the sail panel, and it's almost like it's a different color. I don't know if it's just sun faded, but this is like right here. Kind of looks like the color it was at one point. So I might even have to go right up into the roof, or I don't know what. We'll have to just play that one by ear. We're doing the whole door. Uh, obviously, we can't just stop there because the door looks so trash so i'll have to deal with the mirror mirror tomorrow a little bit now i'm just going to scuff this i'm going to leave all the little nicks and all that just so it kind of shows up through there and yeah i'm sure some of you guys are losing it i'm doing all this work to it i'm just going to patina the thing out and make it look all ratty but i just love that look i don't know why i'd rather do that than paint it nice shiny but that's where we're leaving it tonight for this video like i said the next thing we'll be doing is paint so that'll be a fun one watch me struggle through that let me know what you think we should do with this thing, because I'm kind of over it. It has really hurt my feelings. I don't know what the next steps are with it, but uh, yeah. we got lots of projects on the go. Leave a comment. See you guys in the next video.